APC Kids, and welcome to week three of our series, Blueprints. This week, our big idea is, Jesus said yes to God's plans. And we will hear how Jesus brings glory to God from John 12, verses 20 through 33. And now it's time for a video lesson. Hi there, you little chicken nuggets. It's me, Carl. And I'm Andy. Welcome to Grow TV. Today's gonna be awesome. Welcome to Grow. Hosted by Carl, where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to Pro TV. Hey, everybody! Guess what day it is? I don't know, Andy. Memorial Day? No. Nope. Parental Day? Definitely not. What about Carrier Plant Wherever You Go Day? Nope, that's tomorrow, but today is my birthday! Wow, Andy, how old are you? That's rude. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm 27. Oh. 27. That's awesome! So kids, instead of our regular programming, today I wanted to let Andy tell us what he wanted to do for his birthday. Whatever it is, we'll do it! Andy, you have full control over the plan today. So, what do you want to do? I thought you would never ask. <laughs> what is that? My plan. Your plan? Yep, everything I want to do today is on this list. Oh, wow. Actually, this is only 8 a.m. through 1 p.m., and I figured we'd just get started with that. You want to see what's on it? Sure. Pet an ostrich, get a foot massage, um, ride a roller coaster, go skydiving, say hi to Sylvester Stallone, watch Back to the Future five times, go to Goodwill, try on some sweaters, and go see my oncologist. Then I want to go rollerblading, and then I'm going to go skateboarding, then I want to do some basketball, then I want to do a little high school game. No! Well, what? No, I can't do it, I can't do it! I want to, but I can't! What's going on? What's wrong? Listen, Andy, I'm happy for you. I really am. Birthdays are a special day, but I don't think I can do your plan. I mean, I guess, but can I ask why? I mean, this was your idea in the first place. I know, at first I was really excited, but once I started reading the plan, I couldn't do it! I just can't say yes to a plan I didn't make. Well, it's my birthday. I know, but your list is so... Mind-blowing? Yes, Andy. Mind-blowingly boring. What? If you put me in charge of your birthday plans, we'd have so much fun. So we're not doing any of this? No! I understand, Carl. You don't have to say yes to my plan, but you do know you're going to have to say yes to one plan that isn't yours. I don't know, Andy. It would have to be a plan that belongs to someone really important or someone I really trust. God? Excuse me? God's plan. Is God's plan important enough? Yes. Well, there you go. You're going to have to follow God's plan then. Well, that's a little scary. Why is it scary? I don't know. Following someone else's plan requires me to give up control. And I like control. I like to pick which way I brush my teeth in the morning. How many socks I wear. Who will get to share my chicken nuggets with me? No one. I understand that, but once we say yes to God's plan, then and only then, can we become a big, beautiful tree? What did you say? Let me explain. You remember in John chapter 12 when Jesus is talking about the seed? I think so. And what is the purpose of the seed? Well, it depends on the seed. Like, if it's a pumpkin seed, its purpose is to be eaten. What about a regular plant seed? Oh, well, those seeds need to be planted so it can grow into something. Exactly. So in John chapter 12, Jesus is talking about if there's a wheat seed being thrown on the ground, and if it didn't get the water and sun and everything else that it needed, then it would just stay a seed. Well, that makes sense. But if the seed is buried and says yes to the plan that it's supposed to be, then it becomes the plant or the tree or whatever it's supposed to become. So the seed kind of dies, huh? Yeah, sort of, but when the plant and the tree grows, it's able to spread more seeds, making other plants and trees. That is God's plan. Plants are God's plan? No, us choosing to say yes to God's plan and us choosing to live the way God wants us to live. Instead of living the way we want to? That's what Jesus did, right? Exactly. Jesus could have lived however he wanted to while he was on earth, but he didn't. He gave up everything to be our savior and listened to God to the very end. Jesus said yes to God's plan and so should we. Wait a minute. Did you just say our... What? Big idea! <laughs> Today's big idea is Jesus said yes to God's plan. So let's say it out loud on the count of three. Ready? Ready. One, two, three. Jesus said yes to God's plan. He did. Jesus said yes. Yes. He said yes. I'll listen. Hey, plan. Nice and to meet I'll you. apply. Yes. <laughs> apply the plan, Jesus said. Application. I did it. I, Jesus did that. Applied it. <laughs> I don't know. Like, oh, you're applying, like, 
That just sounds like a fart. Oh, sorry. Is that what a fart sounds like? I think so. So, Carl? Yeah? Did you happen to get me a birthday gift? Of course I did. It's actually outside. Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing outside. But you know what? Not everything on this list is that bad. I think I'll surprise Andy by going with him to go watch snail watching. <laughs> that sounds fun. Okay, see you next week, kids. That sounds awful. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Road TV.